The BBC has published its annual plan for 2024-25. Network radio programming and teams will continue moving out of London and the corporation will create a new network audio production hub across sites in Glasgow, Edinburgh, and Belfast. The BBC claims to be the world's most popular online news brand, drawing in 1 billion visits in December 2023. Data from consumer research company GWI reveals that broadcast TV is still central to UK media consumption with 64% of TV viewing time spent on live TV rather than online streaming, 36%. Although TV still dominates, 13% of Generation Z do not watch broadcast TV on a typical day. NDI has announced the release of NDI 6, a key update that is designed to significantly impact broadcasting and content creation. NDI 6 introduces native HDR support and expands one connectivity for hardware, addressing critical industry requirements and pushing the boundaries of visual quality and remote workflows. Equipped with native HDR and 10 plus bit color support, NDI 6 is designed to be a powerful option for Tier 1 broadcast, meeting industry demands for professional-grade video streaming over IP and making broadcast quality streaming widely available. Marco Borsati, a mixing and mastering engineer based in Bologna, Italy, has installed a 7.1.4 PMC monitor system in his new studio. Located on the ground floor of a historic building that dates back to 1565, Marco Borsati's studio was built from scratch with help from Florence-based acoustic design and consultancy, Studio Sound Service. In addition to the PMC monitors, Marco's control room is also equipped with an Avid D-Control console, Pro Tools with two Avid HDX cards, two Matrix Studio and two Avid 16-16 in-out for outboard inserts and a host of analog gear from manufacturers such as Thermionic, Retro, Manly, TubeTech, Lidcraft, Vertigo, API, Neve, Chandler, GML and DBX. The Licensing Alliance has announced the extension of its HEBC program to include the VVC standard, also known as H.266 and MPEG I Part 3. Versatile video coding, or VVC, offers around double the data compression ratio at the same level of video quality or notably higher video resolution at the same storage size. The technology will be essential to video streaming as technology improves, vastly improving the user viewing experience as well as the amount of storage that video technology requires. Nandu Macharaju has joined the National Association of Broadcasters as Senior Vice President and Deputy General Counsel. He will report to Rick Kaplan, Chief Legal Officer and Executive Vice President, Legal and Regulatory Affairs. Machiraju succeeds Patrick McFadden, who went to Sinclair earlier this year. Machiraju was a partner at Baker and McKenzie LLP, he formerly held senior leadership at the Federal Trade Commission, including serving as attorney advisor to Chairman Joseph Simons. Dear friends, colleagues, and viewers, this is, perhaps, the last briefly before the NAB Show 2024 begins. On Thursday, April 11th, we take a pause to travel to Las Vegas and settle in there. Stay tuned and watch our newscasts from Vegas, starting on Friday, April 12th. And don't miss our big weekly newscast tomorrow, April 10th.